Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. Unfortunately, in almost all industrial applications, the fluid is not pure, so the phenomenon of erosion causes problems in the transport pipeline. Also, an issue that reinforces this event is the amount of flow turbulence. The more turbulent the flow, the greater the momentum flowing by the particles. The impacts on the transmission pipelines are greater when the flow changes direction, resulting in more erosion. In addition to the turbulence of the flow, other factors such as particle size, the rate of particle flow redirection, the number of particle impact to the surface, and the flow rate also influences the amount of erosion. The other endpoint is that the place of erosion is usually where the flow redirects. This is precisely why the erosion profile at knee is generally examined by fasteners and joints. In this project, a gas flow containing impurities and particles is set to move inside a 90 degree band. And in this project, we will investigate how the impacts of these particles and impurities on the outer wall of this band will result in erosion. The geometry of this project is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler software. It is also meshed in ANSYS meshing software and the type of the mesh defined for this geometry is structured and total number of elements is 4,319,695. In present project, realizable K epsilon model has been used to solve the turbulent flow equation since it is more accurate than the standard K epsilon model. After double clicking on the discrete phase button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, under the interaction section, you can see that interaction with continuous phase is activated since we wanted to simulate the two way coupling between the particles and the fluid. Also, under the particle treatment, unsteady particle tracking is not activated since our study is uh, in a steady form. Uh, also, under the tracking tab, you can see that uh, the maximum number of steps. For tracking parameters is set to this value, which means that the software uh, will track and follow each particle for this maximum number of up steps. In the appeared window, you can see the velocity magnitude defined for this inlet boundary is set to be 20 meters per second. We may also change the under relaxation factor. These factors may be between 0 and 1. Based on the simulation and the project we are doing, we may change this under relaxation factor. But remember that the values set in here are the recommended values for the pro project, and we highly recommend you to not change these values. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals or reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right-clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation, you are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. After double clicking on the run calculation, a new window will appear. In the appear window under the parameter section, you are able to set the number of iteration you want your simulation to progress. Uh, after defining the number, by clicking on Calculate, the software will start the simulation process. As you can see, and as was expected, you can, uh, you can easily see the erosion rate has drastically increased on the outer wall of the pipeline in the band section. Now, as you can see in this contour, Particles have accumulated near the bend section and on the outer wall of the pipeline. After defining the plane, you just have to select the contours and then accept the appeared window. Uh, again, on the low left side of the window, by changing the location to plane bar 
and the ver changing the variable to pressure and then applying you will be able to see the pressure contour on the defined wall. In the presented contour you can easily see the pressure has increased on the outer wall of the band. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at Hope you enjoy.